How many websites currently use WordPress? 455 million websites. According to whoishostingthis.com. All right, so that is a very large number. Of course, if you're learning how to code and you don't know any better, you must be like, I gotta learn WordPress. There's a bunch of work that I can start getting experience with. And you know, it's used on so many websites that I can't go wrong learning WordPress. Eh, you're wrong. And here's the reason why you should maybe just visit WordPress briefly, maybe make one blog site with it, use it for about a week or two and let it be. Don't go looking for WordPress work. Don't go out of your way to spend a bunch of time learning WordPress because the reality is that WordPress developers are grossly underpaid. And many of the times you'll see job titles that say WordPress developer and you're not really a developer. You're kind of like a content manager. You, you don't really build anything for WordPress. You just kind of put a WordPress website together using WordPress and the WYSIWYG and everything that's built into WordPress. You're not actually going to be coding. Yes, you could be a full stack WordPress developer and you could learn PHP and you could learn JavaScript and you could learn how to build plugins. But again, there's not much of a market for those kind of developers. And the reason why I decided to make this video is because I have a friend of mine right now that is learning how to code. And he came to me and he was like, hey, you know, I'm learning a little bit of HTML. I'm learning a little bit of CSS. I, you know, I kind of want to learn some PHP because I want to dive into WordPress and I want to start building some plugins and really understand how to use WordPress. I kind of let him go on for a little bit. And then I realized that he was, he was really considering taking like a deep dive into WordPress. I told him basically what I'm telling you now, you'll be a lot better off if you just study HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and focus on trying to just become a front end web developer. That's a good position to get into that will probably pay you way more than most WordPress developer jobs and it won't stunt your growth as much. So really consider this. I know I did it. So I'm talking from experience. It's a waste of time. I built a bunch of WordPress sites because I wanted to get experience and I was looking for jobs on Upwork and WordPress sites were easy pickings. You know, I would underbid people because I was trying to get the experience and then I would go in and I would, I would build these sites and then, hey, look, I have all these websites built. But the reality was that I was building a portfolio of WordPress websites. So what does a portfolio of WordPress websites get you? A WordPress developer job. And I remember I did a phone interview with someone who was looking for a WordPress developer. And during that interview, I slipped up and I said, yeah, I don't mind, you know, working in WordPress, but I want to eventually be a real developer. Needless to say, they never called me back. And I'm really glad that they didn't because I probably would have been in WordPress hell and I probably wouldn't be making as much money as I make now. And I probably really would have hurt my progress and my career if I would have gone that route. So this is just a you know public service announcement to anyone out there who is learning how to code and is focusing on web development and is seeing a bunch of WordPress jobs right now that they're like, hey, this could be good. And don't get me wrong, there are some WordPress jobs out there that you can find that could get you experience with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But if you are just building someone a blog and you're not doing any custom plugins and you're not doing any custom CSS and you're just putting together a WordPress site, it's gonna be very bad for your resume in the long run. So please take this from me, limit the amount of WordPress that you learn and the amount of WordPress work that you do and you will thank me in the future. Your future self will thank you for not focusing heavily on WordPress. You know, the average front end developer makes probably double what the average WordPress developer makes. And just think of that for a second. Do you wanna make more money? Is this about money for you or is this about working with something that, that you enjoy? Because the truth is I don't enjoy working with WordPress, but if WordPress paid a bunch more money, then maybe I would consider it. But it's something I don't enjoy. It also doesn't pay that much. So why bother wasting my time learning this stuff? And if you're just desperate for experience and you want to pick up a couple jobs just so you can list them on your resume, I get it because I did it. But please don't fall into that trap. Trust me, you'll regret it. I regretted the two months that I wasted on WordPress. And don't get me wrong. Right now I have my own niche website and I built it on WordPress. Why? Because WordPress is easy. It's fast to get up and running and it's super simple to use. And that's why you use it. 
If you're trying to get a quick website up, go for it. But it's much better to have a portfolio full of custom HTML and CSS static websites that you built completely from scratch than it is to have a hundred WordPress sites that you just spun up and threw a theme on. Believe me when I tell you this, because if I were to interview a developer right now and all they had was WordPress websites on their resume, probably wouldn't make the cut. But if a developer came to me with no experience and has a bunch of you know custom HTML and CSS projects that they built on their own, or even just a couple of them, they're probably gonna be better suited for the position because honestly, WordPress is a very simple application that if you spent a minimal amount of time on and you have any technical chops whatsoever, you can use. And honestly, you can almost become a power user in it in a very small amount of time. There are some good things about WordPress too. I don't wanna completely, you know, just crap all over WordPress. It's easy to use, it's cheap to host, you know, it's quick to get up and running. There's there's a lot of good things about it. So use it what it's for, but don't use it to build your resume. Don't use it to build your experience because it's not gonna be good for you in the long run. I'm gonna end that rant and all this WordPress hate because again, I don't hate WordPress, but I just wanted to you know send this message out to anyone who might be thinking like, hey, maybe I should learn WordPress because I see all these jobs for it. Don't bother, it's not worth it. With all that said, if you enjoyed this video or found any value in it, Make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer. Thanks and I'll see you around.